Hi everybody, today we are answering the question why older adults can't get good care. There are so many more reasons why this occurs and why it's important for older adults to have someone like adult children, an advocate, or someone acting in the role of a caregiver. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com on their helpful information for caregivers and aging adults. So let's first talk about something that many older adults don't often consider. Obviously, we have people living in all parts of the country and in all parts of the world, but the location where you live can make a big difference in the type of care that you can access. And specifically, I am talking about access to doctors and medical care facilities and services. Some people who live in rural areas have less access to services and have to travel further to get to a doctor or a hospital. When we're young, this probably isn't a big deal because we are so healthy. But when we age into our 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and beyond, access to health care can be a significant determinant of how well we fare day to day. So if you are an aging adult and you live in a rural area and your family lives somewhere else, or if you're getting to retirement age, the question to ask yourself is, am I okay living here, not having access to services that I might need, or should I move closer to town or closer to the city where I have better access for care? One reason why adults can't get care is where they live. The second, and this is even more important, is the lack of organizational skills or planning skills or even just the simple act of being persistent. For those of you who are caregivers, if you've ever had to interact yet with an insurance company or the healthcare system, you know that just calling in and pressing all of those buttons on the phone to try to get to a live person who will talk to you can be a challenge. And half the time, the person that you get to isn't even the person that you need to talk to. They transfer you three, four, or five more times. Imagine being 80 years old and trying to navigate a phone tree or having to spend, honestly, two or three hours on the phone getting transferred from person to person to person to try to get to somebody who helps you. This is a challenge for older adults to get care. Then we have all of the other aspects of just trying to find information about services and what's available. Even caregivers in foreign countries have difficulty with this. A lot of times caregivers don't even know where to turn to that support even exists and how to find these support services. There's a lot of information on my website, in my caregiving library, my weekly podcasts, all of these videos here on Facebook and on YouTube where I answer questions that caregivers have. So there are a lot of reasons that older adults can't get care, which takes us back to the idea of having a primary caregiver, a friend, someone in your family, and also having someone that you appoint as medical power of attorney or financial power of attorney to act for you at the time that you need a little bit of help or you can't make medical or financial decisions for yourself. For all of us, we are going to age to the age of our parents and our grandparents one day. We are going to need the same help that we are providing for them as their caregivers. It's important for all of us to think about why older adults can't get care today and what might prevent us being the caregiver from getting the care that we need. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Please share this video. Share all of these videos with people that you know who are looking for hope, help, and support. Have a fabulous day today. I will see you all again soon in another video.